Now this is of course the headstock on the AT300, the Smarty or CB1220 Smithy, but really a Huang Shang machine to works combination machine. So just clean it up a little bit. Um, taking off the mill head, uh, the co uh, connection to the mill head also. And of course taking the headstock off from the bed. Um, just also taking off the selector lever here. I don't really need this to be operational. Uh, so I can take off this plus the gears here if I want to, because I'm going to run an ELS uh, from Rocketronics on this. So this will be the controller. This, for those of you that are interested. And this means that I will run uh, at least on the set axis. I might do the both axes to get full, full control, of course, but um, a hybrid stepper. Uh, like this and an encoder so on the headstock there this will be mounted to drive the lead screw and this of course to detect the rpm on the spindle not necessarily here of course but rather through a gear inside or outside um i'm not really certain if i'm going to to do the millet as it was from this position and use the the gearing inside here um, which is of course this is like so on the here the operating uh, or the, the way to move between lathe and mill is to just operate this clutch here so free this runs lathe free and inside runs the mill so then the gear the rotates and it drives up through the shaft and to the with the belt to the mill head. Not certain either if I'm going to retain this uh, V-bail pulley. May have um, I may wish to to mount a um, a multi rib pulley uh, and a little bit larger motor. We'll see. Anyhow, um, I've taken off the the cover here also to to the inside here with the oil fill plug here and uh, not certain if you can see but what is apparent inside here is it's completely dry not a drop of oil so that probably means that it has not been filled up or maintained properly from um, the start so um, uh, I don't really need the gears here neither uh, because of the fact that I'm running this motor which will then only need the, the feed from the um, uh, or the input from the um, tachometer the encoder and of course the controlled by this uh, by this uh, controller box. So um, this may be uh, just uh, left inside there, and these taken away, and then I mount the encoder maybe to one of these in the, we'll see about how I do that. And from the underside, just to clean it up so you see, but here we have to, uh, we'll see some of the scraping of course, the Chinese have done. I'll have to test that. Given what I saw on the bed, I really need to test this. But this is not a, a sliding fit, of course, only needs a static fit. So um, it's not that that important uh, that you have as much uh, coverage as you have on, um, on a sliding fit. Maybe like two to five points per inch, as we have taught, is enough. And I see that the uh, this side is quite okay, really. So, but anyhow, I have to test this surface. But the reason I'm taking this now is that I need to to um, uh, mount this uh, before I, uh, let's say, finish the um, saddle scraping, so that I know that 
the headstock alignment is true to the bed, and so is the the the, um, uh, the transverse ways or the the cross feed travel. As I said, I don't know if I'm going to build the mount the mill head as it was here. Uh, maybe have to scoot it a little bit forward to get more over the. You know, don't need to take off the chuck each time you want to mill, and then I have to uh, connect uh, like uh, a bridge mill to the a point on the um, on the far right end, so you have a, a sturdy and the pr less prone to chatter and and movement, of course. Um, or I mount it at some other with some other means, or not at all. But anyway, if I mount it here, I think I will. Mount it a little bit like so, with the original being here and then to here. The original, uh, I mean, um, mount that was here, I moved that forward. And then may or may not use a separate motor, we'll see, or some kind of other belting uh, or uh, drive system. I don't need to decide here in, uh, about that. But given the fact that this has been run dry, I guess I will have to to test uh, whether or not the, the um, spindle bearings are okay. They should not be fed by oil, I think. I think they are greased and greased for life. So you know, that may be okay. At least I see some grease inside here. So um, I'll check the manual for that to see. Okay.